What is up guys, Tom Watch on the one here, and today I have a review on a very special take-along item. This is the take-along Thomas and the Treasure 4-pack. Now this, for a long time, has been my most wanted take-along 4-pack that they ever made. Uh, they did several, most of which never came over here to the UK. Uh, there was the Circus Pack with Toby and three Circus cars. There was the Great Waterton Reopening Pack with... A unique Percy, Caboose, Jack, and Alfie. Uh, there was the Heroes Farewell pack for Hero of the Rails, which I think was one of the last ones they ever made. Uh, then there's the extremely rare Muddy Adventures pack with exclusive Thomas, Billy, Rosie, and Elizabeth variations. Um, but the one I wanted the most was this one, the Thomas and the Treasure 4 pack. Not because of the episode it was based on, because Thomas and the Treasure is a very mediocre episode, but just because of what comes with it. Included is a exclusive gold speckled Thomas. I hope that's in focus. You have an exclusive gold speckled Thomas, an exclusive treasure chest cargo car with gold cargo, a exclusive Pirates Cove uh, box car, and an exclusive Thomas and the Treasure movie car. Uh, this is the only movie car that they ever made exclusive to a pack. They only made four of them. And the other three were all single releases. But this is the only way, excuse me, the only one you could get in a pack. And this was the only way you could get this one. So this one is easily the rarest one. Um, but just the fact that everything in here was exclusive made me really, really want this pack. So we'll start off with the Thomas. Now, the Thomas, as you can see, hopefully, uh, is covered in specks of gold dust well i suppose it's supposed to be gold it's not really gold dust from magic railroad because i don't think they want to acknowledge that film exists but it's covered with gold to represent like well gold has fallen onto thomas um but it's a standard thomas other than that now this is not to be confused with the taken play gold thomas uh which came in the taken play thomas and the treasure pack which was just this thomas and a cargo car um it is very similar. It has different detailing to the take along one. I'm just going to pray that you can see this detailing because I can't really see from the angle I'm at. But uh, the gold speckling is a bit more pronounced on the take and play one. But it's in a few more places on the take along one. Um, now, funny enough, I actually got this one, the take and play one, from my very first copy of this pack. I got everything in this pack except for the box car. So I got the gold cargo car, the movie car, and this, sorry, this version of Thomas all in one set. And I thought, oh, okay, that's all I'm going to get for a while. Then randomly, I found a listing for £200 with a bunch of sets. But in the forefront was this. I like putting it this way, excuse me. This entire pack, the entire complete thing. Um, so I messaged, I messaged the seller asking if I could have just this. And they said, oh, sure. Name your price. And I said, do uh, you want 30 quid for it? They said, yeah, sure, 30 quid will do. And that's the story of how I got my most wanted take along four pack. But basically what it comes down to is I now have two of the most rare movie car and two of the exclusive gold car. So I only have one of the Thomas and one of this box car, but other than that, I have pretty much everything I really wanted from this pack. Um, and I have two copies of it, which is fun. Um, anyway, moving on, speaking of the gold car, here it is. It is a standard uh, truck that you get in a lot of sets, like the Working Hard set and so on and so forth. So it's like the red, the blue and the yellow trucks that you find so commonly. But it has exclusive detailing on the side. First of all, it's an exclusive brown colour. But it also has printing of a lock on it to make it look like a treasure chest, which is on both sides. Um, it is just called a cargo car. But it does also come with an exclusive gold load. Uh, this is just a regular coal load, but it's painted gold. But honestly, that does it for me, because from this angle, it does look like a pile of gold. Uh, most descriptive review ever. <laughs> but anyway, I like the car, but it's not my favourite part of this pack. Now, the 
box car is again a standard i think it was called the magic car where you open the door i always love this part you open the door just make sure it's in focus you see oh look at that image so you close the door open it again <gasps> there's a new one close it again open it up oh, there's another new one now the molding inside these cars is not exclusive but the coloring for it is so first of all for this one you can see that it has a treasure chest inside it's the same kind of styling as this car but it's got printing of a you know treasure chest and some mining equipment close the door to get the next one this one it's, it's a little bit um stiff but there we go see the next one it has some signs for pirate's cove and a skull and crossbones sign, and a sign with an anchor on, that's very nice. Close it and open again, and you see again, this is stiff. There we go, I can't, I can't open it up to fix it, sadly, because it's rivets. Um, but you see, it is called Pirate's Cove Car, which is quite nice. Um, there we go. So you see there, it has a pile of mud with some golden nuggets in it, and a shovel as well. But I just think that... Even though the mouldings aren't exclusive, the um, the printing for them is, and I really appreciate that. Um, but other than that, it's a standard magic car with some Pirate's Cove printing all around it. So you see it says Pirate's Cove on the front side and other side, and then it has a skull and crossbone uh, printing on this side and this side. So this is probably my least favourite part of the pack, but it is still really nice. I mean, even if you don't use it for the context of this set, you can use it as part of a train. And it's very similar to the other ones, like the Morgan's Mine car, which I, I don't have, but I really want to get. Um, but it, it's not, it's probably the, the part of this set that you need the least, really. But I do still really like it. Now onto the special main attraction for this set, which is the movie car. Now, if you don't know what movie cars are, I'll just bring another one along here. The Jack jumps in one. Excuse me. Uh, the movie cars were a short-lived uh, type of car that that uh, Fisher Price, sorry, that Learning Curve made, where you could actually I don't know how well this will show up on camera. I really don't. But you can. I don't think it will show up actually. But you open the door. And you see an image inside. So you close the door again, reopen it, and on the inside, did it do that time? This one's a bit stiff. Close the door. No, it's not doing it. Hang on. Sorry. The, the one I have here is a bit wonky, but I don't know where the other one is. So hopefully you can see that. There you go. Just about see that. So you can look inside, and there's slides from the episode. There we go. I'll put it up right close. Close, open. No. Close, open. There we go. So you can see there are different slides inside. And it's basically like a slide camera, if you ever had one of those as a kid, where you, you click the button and it changes a frame inside. So you look through a slideshow of pictures. That's basically what this is. And they made four of these. They made the, as I previously previously showed, the Jack Jumps In one. They made, if I just grab it, they made a Faulty Whistles one. And then the only one I don't own is based on Percy and the Carnival. Or Percy's... Percy and the Circle. I don't know what the episode was called, but it was a season 10, I want to say, episode. Um, but that's the only one I don't own currently. But those three were all released on their own, like I said before. This one you could only get in this pack. So this one is extremely rare. I've never seen any pictures of the inside of the slides until I owned one for myself. But it is really cool how you get a movie car exclusive to this pack. Because they only made the four. And I don't think they sold that well. Because when Fisher-Price took over and made Take Along into Take and Play in 2009, 2010 rather um they didn't make any more of these so i guess they didn't really sell that well they must have cost quite a lot to make and if they didn't sell extremely well you know what was the point of making more so i don't 
I'm not annoyed that they didn't make more, but if they did make more, it would have been really cool to have some CGI uh, episodes with cars based on them. Uh, but anyway, the car itself, it's designed to look like a normal box car, so you can use it as a normal one if you wish, which I really like. But it does have some really nice printing around it. Some really nice paint, excuse me. So it says, see, it says Thomas and the Treasure on the side there. It has the door uh, crossed out and really nice paint going across it. Then on this side, we have another picture of a lock on the back end. Nothing too special. And on this side, the only thing I don't really like about these is that it has a big sign saying what the episode is. Again, saying with the Jack Johnson one. So if you do use these in a, in a train consist, you will see the the big word saying Thomas and the treasure on the side. So if you have it this side, it's not too noticeable, but if you have it this side, eh, just be prepared to break your illusion. But anyway, from the front, you can see where the camera was and I'll just for the hell of it, I'll just show you it again to the best of my ability. So I open the door, see a slide from the episode, close the door, open it up and you get a new one. Now, if you block the light, from the side like I'm doing now when the door's open it doesn't show up very well so you do want to point this into the light to get the full effect but it is still really cool um if you want to see a full slide of the pictures I believe I have posted something for it on my twitter so just go have a look at that also just go look at my twitter anyway because I'm a sellout anyway that is the Thomas and the treasure four pack um I have to say it is probably one of my favorite take along items the problem is, I have to go and find a new favourite one to go out and get, but <laughs> um, but I really do like this set. I like how everything in it is exclusive, and I'd like, I love how they've themed it around the episode. If I had to give this a rating, I'd say I'd give it a, a 9 out of 10, to be honest. Maybe there's a little bit of personal bias sneaking in there, but I, I really do like this pack. I would say that the only flaw with it is that technically... Everything in here is stuff you can get outside of it, just not with this printing. You know, you can get a normal Thomas as commonly as dirt. Uh, these cargo cars are extremely common. These cars are pretty common as well. And the movie cars are the hardest things to find. But even then, the Jack Jumps In and Faulty Whistles one were the most common ones of those. And they, they, those aren't that hard to find these days. So I would say this isn't an item you need per se, but it is one that I definitely recommend you get if you can't find it. Because, in my opinion at least, it represents something that Take Along had over most of the ranges, which is just not a devotion to accuracy, but a devotion to recreating episodes the, um, what's the word? The, like, theme of the episode, the feeling of the episode. You can, you have a Thomas and the Treasure episode right here, pretty much. It's something that Take Along did, and some other toy brands did as well, but I think Take Along really did it the best. So, like I said, not a definite go out and find it if you can. Sorry, not, not a definite go out and look for it religiously, but if you do find it, I do recommend picking it up. So I think that's all I really have to say. So, it's been Tomatron the One, and thank you for watching.